All right, now Samsung has set a very high expectation as far as One UI 7.0 based on Android 15 is concerned. In the recently held developer conference, Samsung did mention that the One UI 7 is going to be completely different from what we had in the past. They will be introducing loads of changes with this iteration of One UI. And we did get a glimpse of it on some of the videos which surfaced on Twitter and YouTube. And to some extent, we know what is coming. So in this video, let's discuss. Now in the presentation, Samsung did mention about GoodLock, which was a big thing. Now we all know about GoodLock. GoodLock is an application on which we have got multiple different modules. Uh, we can customize Samsung Galaxy phones the way we want. We can add functionalities to it. It's a brilliant application which no other uh, OEMs offer. And this GoodLock application is available only in some of the countries. And now this might change. Since they mentioned in the uh, presentation that GoodLock is going to help you customize the phone, it may mean that the GoodLock will be available in most of the countries going forward. Now, GoodLock application is currently available only on a Galaxy Store and Samsung did test this out on the Play Store as well recently. They released a version on Play Store and for some reason they took it down. We all thought that uh, this application may be made available globally, but that did not happen yet. But with One UI 7, this might happen, we do not really know. But we are just hoping that since Samsung mentioned this in their presentation, this might be made available globally. Let's wait and see that. Next, we saw a brand new quick panel and notification panel. Now, there is a mixed reaction to this. Uh, I'm not sure everybody liked this or not. Uh, personally, if you ask me, I did not like this quick panel and notification panel. I mean, what is wrong with the current design of quick panel and notification on the current One UI 6.1? I don't understand. Samsung is changing this and the way it looks on One UI 7 beta is not really pleasing but maybe this is still in the works. I don't see a reason to waste so much of space on the quick panel. Uh, it's just everywhere. All these quick toggles are everywhere and uh, these are completely rounded corners now. I personally prefer the current version of uh, the quick panel and notification panel. Uh, you guys let me know what do you think about the all new quick panel which is coming up. And it seems that these quick toggles on the quick panel are customizable as well. We can just press and hold on it like we do on iOS. Uh, we can do the same thing on the One UI 7 and I'm not very sure why Samsung has to borrow so many things from iOS. IOS and not implement so well as they do. Now IOS also do borrow things from Samsung's One UI but they implement it better and I would like to see the same thing on the, on the One UI as well. If at all they are borrowing something from IOS they should implement it in a better way and in their own way. Now here again we are seeing the customization options on the quick toggles which I don't think is really necessary. If it comes in it's good but it has to be better than what IOS is offering and there should be a better utilization of space is what I feel. Let's discuss in the comments section to drop a comment and let me know your thoughts about the quick panel and the notification panel. Next on the app drawer, the search bar has been moved from top to bottom, which is a welcome change. A lot of us do use the phone in one hand and it's very easy to tap on the search button right there at the bottom instead of reaching all the way to the top using your other finger or other hand. So that is uh, very thoughtfully done. Having all these access at the bottom is always useful and that is what One UI was all about when One UI got launched. It was all about reachability. Samsung made all the menu options uh, reachable at the bottom of the screen or at the lower half of the screen but that has not been uniform on all the system applications or the settings and I hope that is going to change this time. Uh, we are seeing the search bar at the bottom and we can also see some changes in the uh, gallery labels at the bottom, the menu options at the bottom. Uh, we do have some icons there uh, instead of just the labels. Uh, I don't think it's going to make any, any difference there. Uh, you just have the icons just above the labels uh, and we saw this happening on the clock app application as well. The recently updated clock app has got these labels at the bottom. So that is just an aesthetic change that we have got on One UI 7. Then yeah, even the camera menus have been moved to the bottom. Now again, that is thoughtfully done uh, like how they did with the search bar. Uh, they have moved all the menu options from the top. We don't really have to reach the top of the screen to change the aspect ratios or uh, change any of the settings on the camera. Uh, We've got everything at the bottom now. We can just tap on the uh, menu button uh, to access all those options, which is fantastic. Then we do have brand new icon now again a lot of comments about these icons a lot of you guys are disliking this you want the old icon back on One UI 7 but as far as I know the One UI 7 One UI 6 icon pack will still be available in the uh, theme store uh, I'm sure Samsung will make it available just in case if you don't want to use the new uh, new icons you can go for the previous icons which means the current icons you should be able to set that you may be able to download it from the Galaxy store or it may be an option in the setting menu itself when you set the these icons. Then we are going to get some new options in the settings menu. As of now, we do not have enough information about it. We do have something called avatar, which has been added in the settings menu. I read, uh, read about this news on Sam 
profile. There is no explanation about this feature. This avatar creation has always been there on AR emoji section on the Galaxy phones. And I think that has been moved to the settings. I'm not very sure about it. Maybe we will get some additional features for creating our own avatars in the settings menu itself. And Samsung did mention about some new AI features which will be added. Uh, again, there is no enough information about this, but what we know is Samsung may start charging for these AI features, maybe some of them or maybe all of them, we do not know. I did discuss about this in one of my previous videos. Samsung have been mentioning that they will be making all these features available for free until the end of 2024 and from 2025, beginning or end of 2025, or maybe even in 2025, we will get these features for free and then Samsung will start charging for these features. So that's a bummer. I did post a survey question on the community page on the channel. Most of you guys said that you will not be paying for the AI features. Uh, that is understandable. I'm sure a lot of you guys would not be interested in paying for this. This should be a part of the device itself. This should be available for free always because we pay a lot of money for these uh, phones, especially the uh, top tier phones from Samsung. Uh, those are quite expensive. And these features should be available for free because every year we don't see such a uh, hardware upgrades. We are only seeing these software upgrades and we are paying every year a higher amount for these software updates and minor tweaks when it comes to the hardware. So yes, these AI features should be a part of the phone and it should not be charged is what I feel. You guys let me know what are your thoughts in the comment section. Now, what we didn't get to see yet is about the battery optimization options. Uh, so far, there is no word about battery optimization features on uh, One UI 7. There are no leaks at all so far. Uh, maybe in the coming days, we'll get to know if you have got some additional options for battery saving or the battery performance itself has been improved or not. We will get to know uh, in a few days. So let's wait and see that. And we haven't seen any information about the app lock feature or the data transfer speeds indicator on the top. Uh, we don't see any of these information yet. Uh, so these features may or may not be added. A lot of you guys have been requesting for these features. Let's hope Samsung adds it this time. Now, these are certain things which we already know about One UI 7. The beta is expected maybe in about a couple of weeks from now and the testing will go on till the end of the year and when Samsung launches the latest Galaxy S25 series, uh, this uh, One UI 7 stable version should be ready. So it takes at least about one and a half to two months for the beta testings to go on. So we should be able to get the first beta probably by this month end or beginning of next month. That is what I think. Let's wait and see. I'll keep you guys posted about everything which is happening around one UI 7. So be sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to learn more about One UI 7. Tips and tricks for Samsung Galaxy phones, Galaxy watches, and any other information related to Android, Samsung, and many other tech-related content. So go ahead, subscribe, and give this video a like if you find this video informative. Thanks for watching. My name is Salian signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.